New this morning, members of a local SWAT team assigned to protect Donald Trump the day of the assassination attempt now say the Secret Service never met with them face to face. They spoke to ABC News about the lack of action after a local sniper texted about someone suspicious. We had a, a text group between the local snipers that were on scene. I had sent those pictures out to that group and advised them of what I noticed and what I'd seen. What do you think is transpiring once you send in what you've sent in? I assumed that there would be somebody coming out to, uh, you know, speak with the, this individual or, you know, find out what's going on. My friend Aaron Katursky there. Text messages also reveal that the issue of the gunman was raised nearly 90 minutes before shots were fired at the former president. CNN and Zach Cohen here with the latest this morning. Zach, what are you learning? Yeah, John, mem members of the SWAT team describing both a failure in planning and a failure in communication. And they told ABC News that it started with this briefing, that they were supposed to have a face-to-face -face briefing with U.S. Secret Service snipers before the rally took place. But that never happened. Take a listen to what they told ABC News this morning. We were supposed to get a face-to-face -face briefing with the Secret Service snipers um, whenever they arrived, and that never happened. So... I think that that was probably a pivotal point where I started thinking things were wrong because that never happened and we had no communication with the Secret Service. So members of the SWAT team say they had no direct communication with the Secret Service at all on Saturday, um, which is amazing until after the shooting happened. Uh, that includes warnings that they picked up and they were talking about amongst themselves about this suspicious individual the, who would turn out to be the would-be assassin that were raised hours in a group text with just the local snipers in it about um, 90 minutes before the rally took place. Um, I want to read some of these text messages. They were obtained by Chuck Grassley, the Republican senator from Iowa, who is investigating the shooting at Trump's rally. Um, one of them in particular at 426 p.m. Again, this is an, over an hour and a half before the rally started. Uh, one of the local snipers texts, kid le uh, learning around building we are in. A little typo there. I did see him with a rangefinder looking towards stage. FYI, if you want to notify SS snipers to look out, I lost sight of them. So this local sniper saw the would-be shooter an hour and a half before the rally started, texted the concerns about the shooter, um, you know, an hour and a half before the rally started, and it's unclear if that warning ever made it to the Secret Service.